It's on you. YouTube, what's going on? I know it's been a while. <laughs> don't, be, don't be mad at that. All right, okay. YouTube, what's going on? No, that wasn't good enough. Okay. Okay, for those of you who are new here, I'm Talise. I'm Ben. And we're undesignated drivers. So our last video was posted, I don't know, like <laughs> three or four yeah, months three, ago. Yeah. yeah, it's been a minute. But um, there's a reason for that, and it's kind of personal, but we are glad to be back and bring in some content for you guys. But the content that we have today that we promised you guys is a Q&A. Q&A. So basically, we're going to be answering a whole bunch of questions that you guys asked us. There are some questions that we're not going to get to um, because we do plan to make some content about, you know, in regards to those. But we did get a lot of questions, and we're going to go through some today. Okay? First question. Let's first get question. down to the nitty. Wait, first of all, let's get down to the nitty gritty. A lot of y'all be asking a lot of questions, so here you go. Are you ready? First question. Okay, what's in your toiletries bag? Wait, is that supposed to be? Nah. We'll show y'all later. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got a bunch of like it's just just essential stuff to paste deodorant, um, hair hair stuff. I mean. Clothes, a towel, a washcloth. I mean, yeah, you? nothing crazy. Just Toiletry things. Things you I take guess. to take to the shower. Yeah. Like think of when you're in college, you know that little shower caddy that you used to take to the like the dorm shower, like that. And plus uh, a whole bunch of stuff that don't need to be in there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Question number two. Are you gonna know all the numbers? So when we get to like question 12, 13, you're gonna remember. Yeah. Do y'all ever cook on the road? We do, actually. Yeah, we cook, well, I ain't gonna say we cook a lot, but we do have a um, propane stove. It's a two burner propane stove. We have, um, we buy little mini propane canisters that we can dispose in local places and stuff. But yeah, we cook on them. Yeah, a lot of times we'll, well, during the summer, obviously, we'll stop at a park and get on the grill, buy some charcoal, do the grill thing. But um, lately, actually, we've been cooking a lot more. But um, sometimes we eat out, and also we try to eat as healthy as possible. We're not perfect, you know, but we do work out. But we were, I feel like we work out so we could eat what we want. Yeah. That's yeah, why I work definitely, out. Definitely. All right, next question. Is it a problem when you pick up and or deliver? Oh, wait, sorry. Cut. I see you both take your babies with wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. Question number three. Oh, uh, he's going to forget um, my question number six. Um, I see you both take your babies with you. Is this a problem when you pick up and or deliver? Okay. Okay, so. so go ahead. All right, so <laughs> I, um, we don't have Lulu right now, you guys. Um, Lulu is actually with her sister and our brother-in-law, so. She's with yeah, her auntie and her uncle she, and her cousins. And her cousins. The girls love her, so we decided to leave her, give her some time at home and not in the van. Right. We the do girls have Chucky, being my nieces. But to answer that question, um, yes and no, because sometimes we get power plant loads and they require that you don't have dogs in your vehicle. So sometimes we'll have one of us have to wait at the Me, car ain't gate. no one of us. It's always me. I mean, I got to scrap the load and everything, but yeah, one of us got to wait and then the other one go pick up the load and then sometimes we don't like have to do that like because they don't, they don't trip, but sometimes we do. Yeah. Some of them by law, they don't allow animals on the premises. And when I think about it, all these trucks and these bobtails that travel with their dogs, I know for a fact they get onto these premises with their dogs. The, the fact that they're in a bobtail, you just can't see their dog. So there have been times where, like he said, one of us will stay outside of the premises with the dog. Or there's times where we assume that this is a place that doesn't allow pets and Lulu will be right here, Chucky will be right here, they'll be quiet. Security won't say anything to us. So it just depends. But we don't come across that often at all, right? Question number four. Number, f I thought it was three. It's four. See, okay. you're not remember. All right, my bad. Let me do my job. Sorry, sorry. Who do y'all use for commercial insurance? We uh, use Flo, Flora, Flo. Remember oh. Flo? Yeah, so. Who's Flo? Okay. Progressive. We use Progressive, and um, we oh, we have commercial insurance, and that's only because we don't have a window in the back of our van. And this is only with Progressive. I don't know how it is with Geico and Allstate and all these other companies. Yeah. But with Progressive, if you have a van and there's no window in the back of the van, it has to be a commercial um, policy. If so not, it would have been a, a passenger vehicle. Just a regular one. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on your vehicle and also the insurance company that you go with. Question number five. What part of the country do y'all mostly do runs in? 
I would say I w- I'm gonna give my answer, and then you can give your answer. I would say Midwest. Okay, yeah, about like Midwest, like Michigan, yeah. Chicago. Then we go Kansas City. We do um, see to yeah, me that whole being, area. Like, sorry to cut you off like that. Yeah. Being from New York, I don't consider Michigan Midwest. I just consider that. I mean, but that's what it is. You know that, right? So, Google it. No. <laughs> no, Google it right now. That's what it is. It's the Midwest. Anyway, yeah, we, this is not what the vlog is about. It's about the Midwest. No, no, not about the Midwest. But my answer is the Midwest. What is your answer? Where we're most of our loads? Yeah, yeah. I, I could agree that it's like from Michigan, Indiana, Ohio area and then on down trickling down through like texas well the no south. not really Man, i don't know really all, all over, over the place like it's hard really to answer that all right ready number yeah oh question number <laughs> six How, um damn i'm reading these for my phone you guys like i have no organization all right Hold on. can you help with which van to purchase so we can't necessarily help, but we can recommend. I would say, um, do your research. Yeah, do your research. But we do know, as far as our options in this industry, you have the Mercedes Sprinter, the Nissan, which is ours. We have the Ford Transit, and then then the Dodge Ram, which we we've driven the Dodge Ram when we first started, but no comment. All right. So, question number seven. How many questions we got? I don't know. I didn't. Do- you didn't count. Terribly hot. All right, question number seven. We'll All figure right. out then. Love the blue LED lighting. May I ask what's the name of them and where you bought them from? He's talking about our lights in the back, and also, oh, wait, maybe so, he's talking about our puck lights. All right, so this is number. Welcome to the light shop. Boom. We got the blue. We can do any color. We did a vlog about this actually. Yeah, it's at the but, end of um, one of our vlogs. I think we got all the we got, we the got puck everything. Li- no, yeah, we got the puck yeah. lights from Target and the LED from Walmart. We usually get the puck the the LED strips from Target, but they stopped selling the like I don't know. They stopped selling the one we used to always get. Yeah. So we got that one from Walmart. Um, the puck lights we got from Target. Obviously, batteries we got from Target. But um, yeah, that's a cool little light setup. We also have some fairy lights. Yeah, we did a vlog about this. Y'all can't see it. But, but it's, it's, it's in the end of one of our vlogs. We'll try to link the vlog wherever. Right yeah. here is the link. We'll if you want to see the light show. And we'll put it in the description also. All right. Next question. Number. Question number seven. Oh, my God. Right? Is seven? I don't know. I'm, I'm not eight. Kidding. Question number eight. seven. Love you guys' videos. Appreciate all the info. What do you guys normally do in between time? when sitting waiting on loads to come through such as entertainment and your experiences at staying away from sketchy parking areas good freaking question so when we're not loaded we do shit like this vlog we blo- well no because we haven't no we don't vlog. vlog but we do do a lot of for- we have been using our camera like we've been doing photography taking photos of family members doing some editing stuff like that um like tomorrow we're going on a hike right now we're loaded but we don't have to drop this for another two days so in between texas and Wisconsin, um, we pretty much can just stop and do whatever we want. As far as entertainment, we love to go to billiards, play pool. We love bars, of course. We love restaurants. When we're not loaded. When we're not loaded, of course. Um, We love, you know, we might come across a fair or a carnival. Like, we're in so many different cities that's having all these little weird events. Like, we're stopping. We don't care. Or we're going to, like, a little outlet and we're walking around. Like, shopping. Shopping, dog yeah. park, like the things you guys would do on your, you yeah, know, for just entertainment. Do normal everyday things for yeah. entertainment, like and as far as like parking in sketchy places, it's really like sometimes you can't control that. Like it, it, sometimes you just gotta pull over and park, like you're too tired and there's nowhere to go, and you gotta go to this certain truck stop, and it's just sketchy. So right, I mean, lock your doors. We cover up everything so nobody can see inside and stuff. Lock your doors. And just be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, there are ways to avoid, you know, sketchiness. Of course, obviously, you pay attention to the lighting of the parking lot. Yeah. Try to pay attention to the surroundings, you know, the area that it's in. Like he said, you can't really control sketchiness. You can be in one of the best areas and still get robbed or shot or whatever, you know. It's always, see, it, it, it's not about the areas, the people. 
Yeah. You know? Yes. People are sketchy, not the area. Exactly. But like I said, we do try to find well-lit areas. Obviously, a truck stop. Pilot and Loves is always our first option. Then we have Walmart. Before the pandemic, Walmarts were open 24-7, so it was nothing to just park at a Walmart because obviously the parking lot's always lit. There's always people in the parking lot, and, you know, that's just... That's just where we're parking. But now after the pandemic, a lot of these Walmarts, are, well, all the Walmarts are closing at 11 and a lot less people are parking at Walmarts overnight. So it is kind of, and they turn the lights off in the parking lot sometimes at night. So, you know, just depending on where the Walmart is and what the parking lot looks like, that's how you determine. We also park at Cracker Barrels, a lot of people don't know this, but that'll be another vlog as far as parking in sketchy areas. It's a great question. Next. Question number nine, I think. How we went nine, from seven eight. to nine. Question number eight. This, question I told number him, nine. Don't number the questions right, because I've, he's I've, going to I've, forget. I miscount. Maybe y'all can help us comment below what question we're on right now. They don't know. Anyway, so next question. How how hard is it to get out of California? Now we've had this question asked to us by people who don't work for V3. We've had this question asked to us by people who work for V3. We've had this question asked by a lot of people while we we're in California. Apparently, California is not that easy to get out, but to be very, 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 very honest, Ben and I don't find that to be true. Yeah. We don't know if it's because we are a team. We don't know if it's because we're with V3. We, we don't know. But for us, when we get in California, we pretty much get out. If not the same day, the next day. But, every but a lot of times, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Off. A lot of times, we really just chill in California. We go so out of service. By choice, we go out of service and just do our thing because it's California. It's like, you, you're in California. It's like, you have to enjoy California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else is there to say? But, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It, 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 I guess it varies. It depends on the company you're with. It depends on your vehicle. You may, you know, it, it is a lot of factors that go into whether or not it's easy to get in so or out of really California. really, we can't answer that. Yeah, sorry, we can't answer that. Um, um, I see V3 on your van. You mentioned select this. Does V3 use them? Um, yeah, as far as like communicating and sending our loads to us and our load information, yeah, we do have the select this app. Um, hey, love your videos. My fiance and I want to buy a van and do this, but we're wondering if we had to have an LLC, DOT, or MC number ourselves, can we lease one to a company and use theirs? Yeah, so you you're not required to have an LC or a um, DOT DOT number to work for V3. Um, you don't need a DOT number at all to work for another company, in my opinion. Um, other people might say otherwise. I don't know. But and as far as the LLC, we do recommend that you start an LLC. It's not required. You got do taxes under your name and not a business so that's really personal preference mm -hmm. whatever's easiest for you um love you too thanks <laughs> yo i'd be hyped because i feel like we have fans okay all right so <laughs> love you too do you need a cdlb or regular license to drive for v3 to drive a van and for any company you don't need a cdl you just need a regular license regular. Um, as far as a straight or box truck, I know V3 does do straight and box trucks, or straight trucks straight for sure. Straight trucks, not box trucks. Um, box so trucks is a, is a regular license. a regular license. license. To, it, it depends on the, how, like, how long it is. Yeah. So um, it all depends. But definitely anything with air brakes, you're going to need a CDL for it. So. Yeah. But for, um, a, for van, a van, you just, just a need regular a regular license. Next question. How do you get in with the company you guys are working for? Um, just go to v3transportation.com. Um, there's a number there for recruiting. You call that number, you get a recruiter, and you know you just go from there. But let them know Talise and Ben sent you. Oh, no. Unit we'll number 2113, to... that's us. <laughs> we'll try to um, link the, um, the website in the um, description or on the video. Yeah. Question number 11. We're not numbering no more. <laughs> <laughs> How much weight can you haul? Okay, so our max weight, like when you Google our van, our max payload is 3,300 pounds for this van. This is the standard van. Yeah, 3,300. Okay. Um, because we don't want to put too much wear and tear on our van, you know, we make our our uh, max weight lower. Like, we make it lower than that. So. Yeah, we make it lower. Um, it, I mean, it can affect you as far as getting heavier loads, but we, like I said, we think about the wear and tear in our van and going through mountains and being loaded too heavy. You gotta just think about safe. things like that, yeah. yeah. So we just try to be safe. Yeah. And loves y'all's channel name. <laughs> that was my idea. No, it wasn't. 
I did undesignated. Babe. You did drivers. That's a lie. Nah, you had said something else. You said some driver, no, and I was like, how no, about no. undesignated? He's. You don't remember that? Okay, moment? that I remember that you said. Um. I, I'm telling you. Man. But I was like, I want to do something with designated drivers. Nah, nah. He goes, nah, how nah, about nah, un? Nah, All right, nah, I give you the un. Nah, 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 nah. nah I give him the un, y'all. Undesignated drivers. Yeah. Love y'all's channel name. Do you mind if I ask what y'all do for health insurance? So basically, we use. Oh, but we have um. The healthcare marketplace, yeah. like most for people. Now. Yeah, 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 for, for now. now. Like we, we, we really don't know any other like way to go about getting insurance. So if anybody out there that can help us for independent contractors, yeah. truck drivers that have great insurance, yeah. please message us, let us know, right? So we can check it out. We just go with the standard marketplace insurance. It works for us. I mean, we yeah, don't. It works. So. Thank God we don't have major health problems, but it's just for like our checkups, our teeth cleanings, and stuff like that. So. Wow, six bedroom house before doing this? What were you doing before? Okay. She's, <laughs> I think she, well. They just being nosy. <laughs> Who that is? <laughs> Why you being nosy for? Like? No, you're not being nosy. I well, think we, we, had, been, we had posted our home before we got yeah, on the road. Yeah, we've been doing this for how long? So we've been doing this for, I want to say eight years. Um, I always say 10. but He always says 10. He rounds up. We took a year and a half off to, um, basically let me answer the question. Before we got on the road, I was and still am a real estate agent. I also am a seamstress, and I also. Damn, she do everything. I'm a jack jill of all yeah. trades, you guys. But uh, as far as a job, I was working at Target in McDonough, Georgia. Shout out to T1461. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey style team. But that's where I was. Go ahead. Do your little shout out. Get your little shout out. Here. But that Bad. I love. Look, I love working at Target. Yeah. Let me tell y'all, Target is one of the greatest jobs ever. But yeah, I was working at Target. But that's in between our break. Like that, that was we, we was yeah. doing this, and then we took a break, and she started working at Target. But before this, we had like, what, yeah. what was you like at a nursing home? Yeah, like, I was I was working in physical therapy. Department. I was working in or warehouses so. and like in and out of warehouses. Yeah, I had a whole bunch like of jobs. I was yeah. bartending. I was, yeah. I was, I was. Yeah. We were just floating yeah. through yeah. life. And now we're here. Now we're here floating, floating through life. <laughs> you know. All right, but yeah, that that's yeah. And then, so we have an Instagram follower. Shout out to Mary Hey Girl. She asked us a bunch of questions and they're all really great questions. So I'm gonna go and read through hers right now. Do you use a cooler, fridge, microwave, etc., when you're not eating out kitchen essentials? So here is our cooler. We're not gonna move the camera because it's so cool. It's so our cooler. So yes, we do use a cooler. We do have a cooler. We don't have a microwave, unfortunately. We're but in a we use them at um, truck stops. Yeah, we use them at truck stops. The goal is to get an air fryer, but we don't know if we have the room for it. Um, and kitchen essentials, we can't see. Maybe when we do our van tour. But all of our stuff is like hanging out so on the side like, of the van. So we have like two pans, one, one little small pot. Um, we have like spatulas and yeah. basic, basic stuff. Basic stuff, not much because yeah. we don't have a lot I of I got food. a knife set, that's yeah. about it. Do you see yourself still expediting in five years? <laughs> Good question. Good question. I would say maybe not in the van, but yeah. definitely in the business. Definitely, definitely in the transportation business. How did y'all meet? Oh, Heather Roger. Shout out to y'all. We met through a mutual friend. Right? Yeah, it's, it's like no crazy story. Yeah. How we met. It was like some random stuff. I mean, it's a funny story. Yeah. But we don't tell everybody we'll, that story. We'll, when we see y'all, we'll tell you that story. How about yeah. That? Heather Roger, when we see you guys, we'll, we'll tell, tell you the you exact story. story. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, how much free time or days off do you give yourselves? So the great thing about being self-employed is like that pretty much varies. Whenever we don't want to work, we call them and say, please put us out of service, and they won't call us. Whenever we're ready to work, we'll call them and say, please put us back in service. Um, we do go out of service, not we, often. We give ourselves but, like weekends. Like, yeah, I like to weekends, have my weekends. Because during the week, we're working, and it's still, it doesn't feel like work, because we're stopping in different places, and we're still being entertained in between loads. So. But we do give ourselves the free time. Like, we'll take off for a week or two if we're home, you know, like. Or in between lows. Like, it, mm -hmm. it all depends. It just like, depends, yeah. It, it just depends on when we want to do something. Have you ever had a bathroom emergency? Like, you really got to go and there's nowhere. There's always somewhere, baby. <laughs> 
It's always somebody who's restroom. I don't know about y'all, but you know what I'm saying? What you gotta do what you gotta do. Look, you gotta survive look, out here in these streets. That question. You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? <laughs> There's the answer right there. <laughs> Tips for easy, no cook, healthy meals on the go. Um, I've heard no cook. Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> Fast food. Go through oh, the drive no. Do what you gotta do. No, you know here's a good answer. Whole Foods. We're at Whole Foods probably every other day. A lot of yeah. people don't know Whole Foods. They have a hot bar for breakfast and dinner. So lots of healthy options. I think it's like eleven ninety nine a pound. But a lot of healthy options if we're we don't want to cook. And you know they're in a lot of cities. Um, there's just one one meal that we try to go to when we're on a diet. We yeah. use deli meat and, we and we'll wrap we'll wrap it up in lettuce with cheese right. and pickles and mustard whatever you want on it like it's like it a lunchables i yeah. guess it's with no yeah. carbs it's low, easy low sugar and yeah yeah that's like our go-to when yeah. we're on the go and we just throw it in the food and it's perfect for keto yeah um what major van repairs have you had to deal with and do you have an extended warranty so our van we got this van last year brand new and we haven't to be very honest we haven't had any major repairs no. and that's the reason why we keep coming back and purchasing the mv yeah. unfortunately they're Discontinued, but yeah, we're gonna try to keep this one. So. Oh, yeah, we're but no, repair, no, but major no, repairs, no major repairs. We're at, at 218, yeah, 218 miles, 218,000 miles, yeah. So, yeah, and no yeah, major we, repairs as of yet. No, thank God, it's not gonna work, but not going plastic, whatever, not going something because I don't want no problems. <laughs> no. I want no smoke. Um, do y'all ever come back in the, Greg? My boy, do y'all ever take a break and come back to the A, Greg? Do you ever take a break and come visit us when we're in the air? Nah, but we really don't. Just playing. We go home every once in a while, but it's like... <laughs> I just like just being on the road. Like, I like traveling. Like, I don't care if I go to Texas 300 times. I'm going to enjoy every 300 times I go to Texas. And then I'm going to go to California. And then I'm going to go to Arizona. And then I'm going to go all the way to New York. It's like, I just like being on the road. I like yeah. being on the go. So it's like, I'd rather not go home. Yeah. Not you know? to say, oh, now, not to say that we don't love going home and we don't have family this and third. We go home and whatever, I, and I, I know all my friends can attest to this. Like, whenever I'm home, I don't go out. I am with my family. Yeah, whenever we go home. All the time. And that's literally all I want to do when I'm home. You know, so it doesn't even feel like a vacation when I go home. It just feels like I'm just, you know, home with family. Which is, you know, which is cool. I mean, every time we get a load to Florida, of course, we always drive up to Atlanta. Yeah. But we were just home, what, last week? And then before that, we were in New York, which I still consider home. So we see family pretty often. Yeah. I think, is that it? Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. So like we were saying in the beginning, we had a whole bunch of questions, but we didn't want to get to them all in this video because we want more content for other videos for you guys. And we really just yeah. wanted to say hey and um we're And we're back. back. We're back. We're definitely back. We took some time off. It was personal. We had to focus on a few things, but we're back. Yo, we're we back. Have, dead ass, we're back. We, we started a TikTok, so if you're on TikTok, follow us. What's up? TikTok. Undesignated drivers it's the on same TikTok. As YouTube, also, so you guys, we really we need like, y'all to follow. We need y'all to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, all of that. We don't have a Facebook page. If you're new here, it. please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. More videos will come soon. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have additional questions, feel free to ask them below this video because we'll do I do go Q through it. Yeah. Or we'll answer. Yeah, like, I we, do we go through an answer. Ask as many questions as you want, and we'll yeah. try to get to them as best, like as fast as we can. Yeah. So we're going to continue on our little journey up to Wisconsin, and that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in. We love you guys. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Follow our Instagram and TikTok. Bye-bye. Peace, love.